Hi there, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Food Art Studio. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I want to have a very pale colored center. And I'm going to use Color Art Colors. Firstly, Love Your Pink, which is a primary element. And it's a lovely shade of pink. I'm going to try and restrain myself from adding too many colors. I'm going to do Chantilly Lace. Which it's time to mix more of, so I'm trying to go easy on that. I've got some Vivid Intense White. Which I'm almost out of, evidently. It's time to mix colors. I'm going to throw a little bit of shiny taffeta in there. A little bit of frosted berry. I'll list the colors under the video. I have a pale yellow which is a primary element which is Isadora. If it'll open, let me take the top right off because it feels like it's not open. Okay, I've got abalone, and I see something in there, I think. Yes, I do. And where's my French silk? I think this is French silk. I'm not sure I didn't use French silk and call it Chantilly Lace. I guess I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, that looks like French silk. Let's find the Chantilly lace, which I have even less of. That's, wow, maybe they're both Chantilly lace. I think the French silk is a little bit richer. I am going to throw some interference gold in there, because I have a quantity of it. And I know it will add some shimmer to something. And I know I said I was going to stay with mostly whites, and I will. But I'm thinking about adding a little periwinkle. I've got some Vivid Intense White that I mixed accidentally with some clear. Come on, label, don't come off right now, please. I'd kind of like to put some cell activator on my spatula and just go to town. But I think first I'm going to... Let everything run together. They're actually beautiful colors, aren't they? They're not going to run together very well. I'm tempted by some gold. What have I got the most of? I think it's going to have to be a little bit more of the shiny taffeta. And while we're at it, let's just do the interference gold thing again. And I threatened more frosted berries, so let's do that as well. Now, I think I want, I think, I'm not sure, I think I want to use some cell activator that's white, Amsterdam white. It doesn't want to be as used as I want it to be used because the top is plugged. But I have gold. Maybe I should just use the gold. The gold is interference. No, the gold is uh, Atelier Interactive. Let's make sure I'm going the right direction. Let's just put that right on the canvas. I don't think I can hurt anything by doing that. And. It'll eventually get mixed up one way or the other. Okay, that's useless over there, so let's go both directions. Now I have another little bottle of white. 
I'm really tempted to go go ahead and use it. See how far I can get. Do some periwinkle. I get to spread a ways. I'm going to go for what I think is the Chantilly lace again. And the Love You Pink. I don't know if we need any more of the shiny taffeta, but I'm going to grab that's too big I want to try it anyway I do actually love these colors together. I didn't have any idea how much I was going to like them. Now this might be just kind of a joke. And also, I see something that needs to come out of there right now. kind of cool. I'm really tempted to just experiment. And I think I need more paint though. That was periwinkle. gold interference. I actually really like the way the... Oh, I see something needs to go again. I don't think I would usually put yellow next to periwinkle, but I did it, so let's see what happens. I'm going to take my Axa Omelette Turning flat Spatula and take all of the paint off of there. Throw that in the bucket. Take my opportunities where I may. So the plan originally was to make a very pale center. and then put colors around the edge. But I'm enjoying the set white cell activator so much at this point. some pink down there. So 
some more periwinkle, some dancing fuchsia. I have no idea what this is going to be like or even what I'm doing. But I did admire something somebody else did with a pale center and bright colors on the corners. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I can do something even partly as interesting. I want a little bit of, pretty sure it's chrysocolla. No, it's blue flame. Ta! I should know the difference. Sorry, I lost you there for a minute, and I put some dancing fuchsia down, and I used some dioxazine purple, which I'm not sure you were here for. I am totally enamored of this cobalt turquoise. I'm going to go for it. I want some Atelier Prussian Blue. I'm going to take a chance. It looks so broken down that it might be a mistake. But I've got some Atelier Thalo also, so whatever happens, in for penny, in for pound. More dioxazine purple. I know it's all really like water-like, but it still works. So I can't control myself. I have to use it. It occurs to me, I have little tools around here somewhere. And I'm going to use an acetate tool. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't even know how it's going to work. But I know I can make some interesting shapes and lines. I'll get some sticky paint started. So, where am I? I don't know. There's the chrysocolla. I think I'm going to use some of that. And some of the dancing fuchsia. I'm still very tempted to use black. A cell activator. As soon as I start getting interesting shapes, I get more excited about what might be. Right now, I'm not sure anything's might of anything, basically. But 
but I do need tools to make marks. That's the red, that's the red orange atelier. I'm gonna wipe this off. It occurs to me I haven't used any dancing fuchsia cell activator and that might be really cool. I want to blow it around first. Might have been the perfect time for one of those little um, mini blowers that I've got somewhere hidden away. I'll take our chances. Still want to pull that chain. Yesterday I thought, with the painting I made, maybe it was yesterday, maybe it was the day before now actually, that I could just stick some flowers and make some blooms and, and that would be interesting. I'm just adding a bunch of waggles. I could add, add a bunch of spir uh, spirals. Oops, ran right into it. I like when you force a spatula down onto it, which I'm really not forcing anything. I'm just lightly placing. But I'm liking that it breaks open the cell activators and I want more blue, but I don't necessarily like the blue I've got. What's this? This is Atelier Blue Black, which might be too much, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. Or not. Oh, big clot. I'll have to fix that in a minute. Hopefully. You know, I just put my hand on the gold, and I'm thinking it might be kind of cool to find out what that does. And gold and blue are often green, so that's what that does. That was dumb on my part. not convinced I know what I'm doing yet. I'm trying to compose on the fly and I'm not sure it's working very well. But like I said, it could just be a stage one. just want to get it to the place where it's not going to 
bind up my spatula. Every time I think I'm going to drop a little drop, I get this huge amount out. But in that case, it might have been a good thing. Might have been exactly what I needed. I want to use a little bit of deep amethyst right down here. Time for a new straw, but I do like what's happening and I think it's going to happen some more. That's the cobalt turquoise from Atelier. I've got some green. Do I dare put any green in there? I'm going to do it. I kind of like that. Hope I don't regret it. I need a little more. Whoa. <laughs> I need not that. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. I've had colors I love. And I'm going to continue in that direction. With some of the Atelier. Yellow turquoise. I might put a little more purple in there. Next to the green. And it's still not impossible I could add some flowers. blowing till the spit comes out, which is not necessarily a good thing. But if I ever thought I had too many cell activators and I wasn't using them up well enough, I'm definitely trying to make up for a long time. This is just taking a long time to, to do. It's the dancing fuchsia again. which I'm thinking about bringing down over here. I 
I don't know why I never thought of turning the straw around before. Maybe I'll try the actual dancing fuchsia. I'm going to try it with a little gold. Now I've given myself permission. kind of wonder what the silver would be like. I like this, but I need, I'm really liking this, actually. I'm either going to put dark purple or I'm going to wipe off the tip of this bottle that's got schmutz on it. Try it again. And it is Atelier Blue Black. I need another new straw because this one's leaking as well. But I have some. That's better. That's more balanced. Let's see if I can get a drop of red orange without a whole bunch. I'm wondering if I should put a little green down there just to move the eye back and forth. occurs to me I'm doing little tiny Dutch pour. <laughs> All right, so I'm loving this purple so much. I think I'm going to just keep right on using it. And I love the turquoise. Both of them. That's the cobalt. That's the uh, phthalo. all to frame this white center, which I'm not done with. So not done. Good lung exercise and turning out really pretty actually. I'm thinking something's going up there and I'm not done with down here. And I think what it's going to be is this shiny taffeta again. This time with dancing fuchsia.
think I need a little bit of orange, whether I like it or not. Oh, that was a lot more than a little. Why am I not getting the memo? <laughs> Okay, so I'm not sure exactly when I lost you. Well, how shimmery this will be. There does seem to be quite a bit of shimmer in it. I'm loving the shapes. It definitely reminds me of a Dutch pour, which is not usually my favorite thing to admit. Tried to get most of the schmutz out of there. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it dries. I doubt whether I'm going to put flowers in. I know I talked about it. And it's not impossible. It could still happen, but I don't think it's going to. It's just really cool just the way it is. And the center is really neat. And I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. Thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching longer. It speaks to the YouTube algorithm. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com if you'd like to inquire about taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, one on one, or purchasing an artwork. Linktree, you'll find promo codes for color art products and pixel paint designs, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, a couple of my websites, my Amazon link, volumes one and volumes two of my books are on the Amazon link. Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, the first and the second 100 videos I made for YouTube. Que questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board will show you tomorrow's video at around 2 p.m., hopefully. There's something else. Thank you. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to the members. Thank you to um, those of you who use PayPal to make a donation to keep me painting. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys endlessly, and you inspire me always. My paint pouring recipes below show more, and I have 34 playlists of 100 videos each, and everything's organized by topic and genre. <laughs> if you need anything, don't forget. Ask questions. It's fine. Thank you for being here. Bye for now. Priscilla out.